to the circle. <laughs> This video was brought to you by Fanatic, Next Level Racing, Gigabyte, and EKWB. Fanatic makes only the most premier quality racing wheels, direct drive wheelbases, pedals, and shifters. Next Level Racing makes racing cockpits like the GT Track that we used on our sim setup, motion systems like the Traction Plus platforms and Motion Platform V3, as well as the monitor and keyboard stands used in this build. Last but not least, Gigabyte came in to sponsor the computer hardware like the Oris RTX 3080, RAM, and power supply. They even provided the amazing 32-inch 165Hz curved monitors for these sims. We are also proud to have EKWB as the sponsor of the water cooling hardware for the Overkill computer. So what's going on guys, it's Lucas and Thomas here and we are business partners and childhood friends from back in the day. We actually grew up on the same street together and you know, growing up on the same street, we used to love to shred it up on both go-karts, scooters, anything with a motor really. And then by the time we were of age, we were just causing a ruckus in our cars. So it's really funny and only fitting that we're building racing sims together in our iDrive Fast and Overkill warehouse. So did you ever think that back in the day when we played Sega Genesis and Road Rash that we would have these professional level racing sims? Um, no, but if I did imagine it, I would have imagined this a little bit different. My name <laughs> would have been up here instead of down here. And I gotta correct one thing. I think we were probably shredding up in cars before we have, were of age too, but yeah, that, that's a whole nother story. True, and yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure your time will tick up here and then back and then this way and that way. And it's kind of one of those situations where we'll battle back and forth. And of course, Fred and Mike and everybody from Overkill are gonna be battling back and forth on these sims. And as we do this throughout the warehouse, we're gonna be streaming up here and streaming our normal builds downstairs on the Overkill set. So it's gonna get pretty crazy. And as this progresses over time and we actually do this second build, we're gonna be adding upgrades to the sims as well. We have a butt kicker to add, which adds vibration, which I hear is one of the best upgrades you can do to a sim. We already have amazing movement with this next level racing mm. cockpit. We have the base motion system and then the V3 motion system and all fanatic for steering wheel and the podium uh, direct drive wheel. So, so good. It, it, it works so incredibly well. And Gigabyte was also awesome enough to jump into this project. So we have a lot of working parts and things going on. Today's episode, we are going to be actually building the second version of this racing sim, minus the overkill computer that we're attaching to it. But we should have something of a semblance of this cockpit by the time this video is over. And we actually came across some issues while we were building this, the way the monitor stands set up, we figured out that we had to get the monitors closer to the actual wheel itself. And we couldn't do that because of the design of the motion system and then the monitor mounts. But we actually figured out a way to fix that problem, guys. So stick with us as we go on and get this built. We'll show you what we did to mitigate the issue. All right, guys, so we're gonna show you how to take this massive stack of parts and pieces to create this beautiful racing sim that you see over here in the corner. And to start, we're gonna go ahead and get our monitor stands ready to rock and positioned, and then we're going to attach these Gigabyte 32-inch curved monitors. So let's get started. All right guys, so if you noticed, our monitors are actually mounted nice and close to the steering wheel. They have the perfect 
about 30 inch eye relief from your eyes to the monitor. And in order to achieve that, because of this motion system, we had to actually modify the stand with different mounts, which I'm gonna show you in a second. And we made these beautiful wood cutouts so that way the monitor stand can push nice and close to where the, the uh, steering wheel is. I'll show you the uh, wood cutout. Basically, pretty simple, but effective. All they are is wood cutouts just like so. You place them down and it allows the legs to go underneath the motion sim. And then to move on to the monitor mounts in order to get even closer, we have a nice center articulating mount for the center monitor, very sturdy and strong. And then we have further uh, telescoping arm mounts, they're gas shocked arm mounts. So those will swivel a little bit more, provide us a little bit more distance if we need to get a better angle. We'll pop those in. I'll put those in the comments below as well. So that's how it kind of works. That's how this monitor is set up and it works out really well. And if you didn't notice, we are not afraid here at Overkill to cut and modify things from time to time. Uh, I just basically did that because I wanted space to get into the second sim. I didn't want to deal with that big flange sticking out and getting in the way. Well, let's go ahead and hang these beautiful 32 inch curb gigabyte monitors. All right guys, so next is the motion chassis. We have not one, two, three, but four boxes. There's another one over there already. And basically the way they do it, it's pretty smart. The box one, two, three, and then this is a different motion system that goes under the seat. So we have box one over here already, and we're gonna go ahead and start opening that bad boy up and getting everything out of here. So you'll see how it comes together shortly. Dump your bolts, organized receptacle. Always. Now let's just zip in it together. Tighten it all up. And then we'll start with the chassis. This is the problem about having a racing sim. There's always somebody wanting to rip, to try to beat times. Look at him. He's right behind my ghost car. This is what happens. He wrecked.
so I know we made that look super easy. However, lifting up this base motion system was a struggle bus. Holding it where these three bolts are to get them in, it was a fight. If it wasn't for Mike, Fred, who's behind the camera, and myself, there's no way we would have got this in. Uh, Tommy's gone for the day, unfortunately, but now it is on to the racing wheel, the pedals, and the shifter. Let's get started. So we got the sim set up and we really just could not wait to get computers connected to these and get them rocking and rolling. So the computers that are connected to the sims aren't quite done yet. We have to do a full kit of water cooling to them coming up. But tell me what you think, Tommy, of the racing sims. Oh, I don't know where to begin. I think one of my favorite things is just the, the feedback, just from us being on the track all the time, the feedback of understeer, oversteer, braking inputs, everything is just so accurate. These uh, these motion uh, bases are just insane how accurate the feedback is. It really feels like you're really driving, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, we've got understeer, oversteer, we've got uh, different movements in the road from the V3 system under the seat. You can feel the rumble strips, you, you lean, you get that feeling of <laughs> momentum and inertia. It just, it makes it really easy to correct, right? I totally. mean, yeah. you get into a turn and your back end starts coming out, you can correct that much easier, which we couldn't do before. Yeah, when we were driving on without the uh, motion platforms, it literally, like, you couldn't save the car because you couldn't feel it. But now mm -hmm. you get in the crazy oversteer and you can save it. It's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, coming from guys who track, I mean, we track our cars uh, multiple times a year and, you know, we, we know the feelings uh, of a car when it's in under oversteer and the feelings that we feel on this are very parallel and it's just it's it's intoxicating honestly and we have other upgrades we're going to be doing to these I, I think i told you guys in the beginning intro we're putting a butt kicker on this uh, which vibrates uh, which is a great feedback that that you want to get from a car you want to feel that engine vibration and you know feel it in your chest when you're driving it as you're revving that engine and we're going to be adding those on here later and like i said we're going to take these overkill computers and make them look more like engines we're going to use ekwb water cooling coming up so stay tuned for that and if you didn't know we are actually giving away one of these bad boys it's going to be a gt ultimate cockpit with gigabyte monitors and stands and keyboard mounts as well as an overkill computer and full fanatic steering wheel pedals shifter mm. the only thing we're not giving away is the motion system but it's still a bad to the bone setup and completely worth it so guys make sure you check that link below and enter the giveaway via gleam so we're gonna go ahead and get back to ripping it up on the racetrack and having fun stay tuned for more <laughs> 